Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Abdullah Kamal and I'm here today to show you how to design an edge calculator in Excel. As you can see here, I've already uh, designed the outline for the calculator. I've also given names to all the cells that we're going to use so that when we use them uh, later on in a formula, the formula will be much easier to read and understand. Uh, this chart at the bottom here uh, will help us track our progress as we go along. So calculating somebody's age normally results in these three parts, years, months, and days. Uh, for example, somebody's age could be 30 years and four months and five days. So um, to calculate um, all the parts here, uh, we start with the years, the first part. So to do that, we use a function called year frag. And the year frag is going to ask us for the starting date, which is uh, our date of birth. And the end date, which is today's date. And on what basis we're going to use actual days counting and we get 25 years and a fraction uh, to get rid of the fraction we use uh, truncate function okay and we get 25 and that's the, uh, the first part the first part is done we move to the second one uh, to calculate the months to calculate the months we use the same exact function with the same exact parameters as before and this time the only difference is we are interested in getting the fraction so we can get the months to do that we use a month function the month function will give us the remainder of a division so if we divide the year frag function by one we get the fraction but this is a fraction of a year so to get uh, what represents uh, this number in months we multiply it by 12 so we get two months in a fraction of a month to get rid of the fraction so we get the whole months we truncate the whole thing here and we get a uh, total number of months so this is the second part so uh, the third part is the number of days to calculate the number of days you need this point in time here and you subtract it from today's date and there you go you get the number of days but to get this point in time you need to know what was your last birthday date so let's calculate your last birthday date first uh, to do that you use a function called edate and the edate is going to give us um, uh, a date after a certain number of months starting from a starting point and in this case our starting point is our uh, date of birth and the number of months, as you probably have guessed already, is the number of years that you have calculated before multiplied by 12. And as you can see here, it's accurately calculated. Um, so your last birthday date is October 4th, 2016. So we know this uh, point in time here, your last birthday date, and we want to get this point in time. So to get that, we use the edate function again. And this time our starting point is going to be our last birthday date okay and the number of months as you probably guessed already is going to be the months that we've calculated and as you can see here it's actually december 4th okay so this point is actually december 4th so if we subtract this from today's date we get the number of days that we're after okay so we come here at the beginning of the uh, formula and we bring today's date and we hit minus and we press OK and as you can see here we get six days just a number of formatting so we bring it back to a general format and as you can see here it shows us that uh, the days are six days so uh, we got our last part so the calculator now is ready to use and as you can see here your age based on your date of birth at the, at the top here is 25 years, 2 months and 6 days. The final check that we can do in the calculator is to go one year back from today's date and see what the results are. Okay, so uh, if we go to um, December 10, 2015, as you can see here we get 1 year and 0 months and 0 days and that proves that the calculator is working fine. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe and always come back for more. Thank you again for watching.